Okay, arguably, this next step could be the most important thing of this entire video. It's cleaning, maintaining, and storing your RC vehicle after you're done running it. If you store it like this and don't do anything else, it's not going to last a very long time. It's going to corrode and you're not going to be very happy. All right, the very first thing you do is get all of the fuel out of the vehicle. I just use the fueler to unfuel the vehicle. You just squeeze it and it sucks out all the fuel. Okay, the next thing you want to do is disconnect the fuel line and run the engine until it stops. That means you're getting all the alcohol out of the engine. This is very, very important. Alcohol is what's called hydroscopic. That means it attracts moisture and it'll attract moisture to the inside of your engine and promote corrosion and you don't want that to happen. Alright, the next thing, the mega wash. Amazing stuff. Now, I suggest you don't do this on your mom's kitchen table because she'll kill you. Take it outside or in your workshop, put down some newspaper and just start cleaning the vehicle off. The great thing about this is it's completely safe for electrical components. You do the entire truck. Big parts like that, uh, you might want to save them, but probably you're going to want to throw them away. If there's any real heavy areas, let it soak for a while. Take some paper towels and wipe it down. And you can apply it. Go away for 15 minutes. Let it soak in, come back and reapply it, and it'll clean the entire truck off. Again, really good stuff. All right, now that the vehicle is all cleaned off, there's just a few more things I want you to do before you put the vehicle away. All right, number one, take your six-way wrench, take the glow plug out, and take the air cleaner off. Take some mega metal guard and put two drops, two drops only. That's it. That's all you need. Down the glow plug hole and two down the carburetor. And then turn the engine over, whether it's a pull start or an auto start. Turn the engine over a little bit so that oil gets spread throughout all the parts. That uh, metal contact between the piston and the sleeve is very, very important. So you want a film of oil protecting it while your truck is in storage, okay? Very important. Next thing I want you to do is go over the truck and make sure every single screw is tight. Running a truck, you're going to have vibrations, nothing you can do about it. So go over the whole thing and tighten everything up. Don't put the old kibosh to it and go stripping things out. Just make sure they're nice and snug. And uh, oh yeah, one last thing. A lot of you guys overlook this one little item, the glow plug. You start fiddling with the adjustments on the carburetor, the thing won't run right. And if your glow plug is bad, the engine will show a lot of different symptoms. It won't run at all, or it'll run while the uh, glow igniter is on, but as soon as you take it off, it'll stop. It's very important to go to the track with a few extra glow plugs. And here's what it looks like when it's operating right. Nice sort of yellow-orange glow. Okay? Don't forget the glow plug. Always carry a few. Whether you're into monster trucks, on-road, off-road, backyard bashing, racing, it doesn't matter. This RC stuff is about having fun, and that's all I've tried to help you do here is have a little more fun. So, go have fun.